Hello, this is Marcelo Andrea again. In this short video, we will show you how easy it is to install and set up a Cronus Access Advance. The entire process should take a few minutes, I would say about 30 minutes end to end. And when you are done with the process, when the process is completed, you should have a setup ready to go, ready to serve mobile users, Mac users, PC users, so they can access the content they need. The first thing you need to do is to acquire the Acronis Access software installer from the Acronis website. It's a pretty simple process. Download the installer to the target computer. In terms of the target computer, depending on what you are trying to do, that is, you're trying to test the product or try the product, you can run it on any modern desktop class computer, Windows 7, uh, Windows 8. There's no problem with that. For production, definitely the requirements are higher. This is software that runs on server class machines, so you will need Windows 2008 or 2012, but that's pretty much it. The other requirement is administrative permissions to run the installer so all the components can be properly applied, and that's pretty much it. Once you have the installer, double-click on it and start following the dialogues as we will see in um, the process we're going to follow right now. Hi, in this video, we'll show you how to install Acronis Access. The installer takes care of all the details. When you run it, it guides you through the different steps one by one. Make sure you read the information presented in each dialogue before proceeding to the next step. Once you have accepted the license agreement and decided where to place the software and all its components, the process will run providing you with visual status indications and progress. All this will take a few minutes as the different elements are deployed. The required core components, the database, the file repository service, the Acronis Access Server application, the Acronis Access Gateway Server application, the Acronis Access Configuration Utility Application, the Acronis Access Log Collection Tool. All these are components needed to get everything up and running. When everything is in place, you will be asked to proceed to the configuration phase. The installer will launch the configuration utility for you. Normally, you can accept the default options for ports and file store location unless you have some special requirements. When you click OK, the tool will start all the necessary processes and services, and it will also launch a web browser when everything is running. This may take a few minutes. Just wait until your web browser opens. Perfect. Your first task is to create a password for the administrator. So go ahead and do that. Next, choose whether to run this instance as a trial or using a valid license key. You also need to accept the license agreement and click Continue when you're done. In the next screen, you can customize the server name, provide a DNS name or IP address, and the language for log entries. Click Save when you are ready. Next, Please complete the email server settings. This is important. These are needed so access can send enrollment and sharing invitations, notifications, and other email-based messages. Then you can complete the LDAP Active Directory settings. This will allow your users to authenticate with their network credentials, provision file shares and SharePoint resources, and many other things. In the next step, you can provide the IP address or DNS name that will be used by mobile and desktop clients to connect to the Gateway server. That's it. You can click the Finish Configuration button and start using Acronis Access. Your next step should be to add a sync and share or mobile user. Make sure you completed the email settings I described earlier. At this point, your Acronis Access Server is ready 
You can always consult our online documentation and quick start guides for details and examples. Thanks for watching.